Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. Why do I do this to myself every friggin' time? How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. Today on the Belsif Show, I was gonna start fixing that trailer so it holds blue balls. Well, blue balls isn't blue balls anymore, okay? Just so you know, I took blue balls off. So, leave your comments down below and let me know what you think we should call that golf cart. Quite reminds me want to know. You know, I didn't even ask you guys what I should name them. So I took them off blue balls and now it's open for discussions. Fire up your doodad and let me know what you think you should do or what we should name her. But before I do anything, yes, the drive shaft's still sitting here. If you can see, I don't know if you can, but yes it is. We're gonna clean up this damn desk because I, I just, I make a mess. That's just the way she goes around here. Dirty old bills is friggin' right it is. So let's just kind of get stuff kind of somewhat out of the way here so you can see what's really going on. And then we'll kind of go from there and see if we can't wreck something on that trailer out there. I think it won't be hard. I really don't. I forgot to show you guys. I installed this and I apologize. I did not show it to you because some things just aren't worth showing it to you. I just drilled a hole and I stuck her in and it's gonna power on, power off button. There you go. That's where it is. See, I showed you. That was easy. That was one of the easiest installs. I've friggin' done a long time. Let me tell you what. That head unit I have to throw it out, so all this stuff is garbage. And these rags, you know, need to go back to work to be recycled. We got ourselves some paints and stuff that's, oh yeah, we some trim clad paints. So you know what these are for? The garbage can. Thanks trim clad for cocking me over. Why wouldn't you? You guys should be responsible for sending me some new friggin' paints, what should happen. But you won't do that, because why would you do that? Should take it back. That's what it should do. Leave the comments down below if you would take it back. Quite your mom's wanna know. So that one needs cleaning. This is not there. This can't go there. This, this isn't for here. That doesn't go there. I'm sorry I have to show you this. I know it's hard. Hard on you to watch me clean up my bench, but sometimes you got it because that's what content's all about. Do you have one of them? Do you do that at home? Let me know. Wouldn't you? Here, let me turn you a little bit. Let's move this dry shaft so it's not in your face. Let's put it over here. There you go, stay there. We're getting there, Captain. Let me know below if you're subscribed, or let me know if you're just kind of surfing and you notice me and you're just watching it, but you're not subscribed. Let me know, I'm curious to see how many people just watch but don't subscribe. Tell me that. Query minds wanna know. I wanna know. So put that down there, put that down there, put that down there. Put, put this over here and over here and over there. We put this over here and we're freaking almost there. Look at it, I'm starting to see more and more. Here's the old JVC out of Decent. Hey, as you know, poor Decent's gone. But there's the old JVC. And you know what I think of that? Garbagey. That little garbage, that's okay. Brand new batteries, I forgot I had because they're buried. And there we go, we got some new batteries just in case we need them. Battery terminal, we got ourselves. What's really going on? Ew. I think I forgot about that mug. What's this? You ever have a mystery box like that on your bench? Oh, it's a TV sensor for uh, throttle body. We'll get rid of that, we'll get rid of this, we'll get rid of that, get rid of that, and we'll get rid of this, we'll get rid of that, we'll get rid of this, we'll get rid of that, we'll get rid of this. This can go over here, over there. This can, we'll keep that because we're looking for one of them, remember? That I had a fine, but now I have an extra. Isn't it weird the way things work sometimes? Well, that's definitely better. This strip had came with my seats for the golf cart, but I'm not sure why. I'll figure that out someday. Oh, there's those things again. They keep getting in my way. There's some cords and stuff. So that's the splicer kind of doodad thing. That there's another old doodad. This here is a, an extension for a doodad and another extension for a doodad. I got extensions for doodads around here. I think these are wired headphones. You ever heard of them? If you're my age, you sure would have. But if you're younger, then you have no idea what I just said. That's right, wired headphones. Figure that one out. Don't hurt yourself, kids. Try to figure that out. There we go. That's all I need. Just a little bit of room. So, now that I've done that for you, we're gonna go out to the trailer and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do to the trailer. First of all, what we're gonna do is we gotta take the grinder and I gotta extend, gonna extend this part here. And I'm gonna make it so it goes back to about here. So it gives the trailer more support. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grind here. We're gonna grind here, here. We're gonna grind here, here and here. And so, you don't need to grind much. We've got to cut it off. So, you know, a lot holds that trailer together. So, 
That should be just fine, what we just did there. Now we're gonna take a hammer and we're gonna hit out the bolts that go through the friggin' arm because we gotta get them out too before. So we'll just, uh, there we go, they're out. So that wasn't bad. So now we're just gonna knock that off. Knocking off, is it gonna be easy? That's the next question. Wearing minds wanna know. Not looking that way. Careful. We need to go see Mr. Snap-on for this. Hold on a second. I was just gonna give this a one-two right here and just extend it and then weld it back together. But I thought to myself, this is just a two by three and it's only like that long. So why not get a longer one and just make a whole new piece? That way it's safer, I think. Let's see what this does. Hey, look at that. Something happened, Captain. Well, I'll be dead. There you go, boys. That's no screwing around there. You seen how quick I removed that? How'd that even pull the trailer like that? Like it was like literally <laughs> bang, bang, off. I don't know. They don't make these like they used to. But anyways, look at the trailer bed in here from the weight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move these wires. I'm gonna cut this, cut this, cut this, cut this, and then cut this, and then bring that pole all the way back to here and then weld it again. And then we'll have more stability throughout the uh, trailer. These trailers from Home Depot, they're just garbage. Leave me a comment down below if you have a Home Depot trailer that's just garbage. But we're not gonna reuse that. I might reuse the chains. I did go out today and get myself. Where is it? Oh, dick. It's not in here. Is it over here? What the hell did I do with it? I did go out today and get myself. There it is, a new doodad. So I'll just weld that on instead of reusing that because it's just not the way we do things around here. So we'll put a new one on there for that. And I got myself a little extension piece for the wiring, just in case it's a little short when I'm done. So that should work pretty good. Let's check it out, see if it works. Here, you hang up here near the birds. This piece here should just come apart like that, and it will give me the extra fuck all that I need. Well, that's not very goddamn long. So anyways, that'll plug in there like that, and then that will give me my extra couple inches I probably need. Yeah, that should be fine. Everything else in here is looking all right. These look okay. He made some paint. I don't think I'm gonna go with trim clad though. Leave your comments down below and let me know what kind of paint I should use on this thing. And I'm gonna paint this. You know, I might paint these. We'll check the bearings over. Make sure they're okay. I gotta have this thing ready to go in like a week. So we gotta get this going. I don't know how I'm gonna move these wires though without wrecking them, but we'll figure it out. I think if I just kind of spread them apart some more, I think we'll be okay. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out later. This ain't much of a video here on the trailer because it's, I need a piece of steel. Frig, I was gonna use this, cause I have this pipe just sitting around doing nothing, but then I gotta refab the whole damn thing and I don't know if I feel like doing that. I'll just get the right piece. Just so you know though, hey, if you ever uh, have a trail in your front yard and you don't want anybody to steal it, just remove that and you should be fine. Cause I don't think anybody can steal it if you do that. So that's how you put an anti-theft system on a trailer. Just remove the tongue and your mint. Friggin' right your mint. Look at it, what a piece of shit. Just so you know, I welded this in this in, this in, and that in. Cause this trailer went down the road looking like it was flapping its wings. So now that I'm back in the garage and we're on hold on the trailer waiting for that metal, I just want to bring something to your attention. I noticed a lot of guys online, we got a 36 volt card here. A lot of guys are asking about three 12 volt batteries or six six volt batteries. The cart will go further with six six volts and the batteries will last a little bit longer. If you're using a trailer park, you plug the damn thing every time you come back to the trailer. And I can go all the way around Wyoming in this thing, no problem. And that's a lot of kilometers. So this is my opinion for you. If you're just gonna use it in the campground, that'll work. And those batteries have moved. I gotta fix that too. I still haven't put a mount on that. Oh, just so you know, my 12 volt doodad's working good. But the batteries are sliding around, which is not good. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, we gotta tie them down. Get some hold downs for that, and that's no good either. Look at all the dirt in there, that's gonna wreck that thing. We gotta get that out of there too. That's not gonna work. Frig no, it's not. Let me know in the comments down below if you wanna see the trailer build, or the trailer extension piece, welded on, which I will show you anyways, even if you don't wanna know. There's a birthday party going across the road. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Freaking right, happy birthday. Hopefully everybody's having a good day. Don't forget to comment down below. Let me know your ins and outs and your whatnots and doodads, because I wanna know, I always wanna know. We're gonna head her off here, go get ourselves a piece of metal for the tongue, and hopefully we'll get somewhere with that. Just so you know, that is one fast working grinder. You see how fast that freaking thing grinded those welds off. It was like, sh 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 done. Unbelievable. Gotta give it to you, DeWalt. You work good. Friggin' right you do. Love y'all, glad you're here, and you know what to do for now.